It's my time with Teacher Venny. What's up, physics students? Good morning. Six last one, six last two, six last three. How are you there? I hope you are all fine. Happy because no class? Oh, well, you can be happy because you need to answer your worksheets, right? But anyway, before that, I will give you first an I love you clap. Okay, one, two, ooh, one, two, ooh, one, two. I love you. All right. So, what's up, guys? I hope you were able to answer your worksheets number three or week number three worksheets. Did you answer? Did you ask help from your mom and dad? Or maybe your big bro and big sister? That's fine, girls and boys. No problem, as long as you answer your worksheets. All right? So today, I will guide you and teach you again for your worksheets number four. I hope you will listen and watch carefully this video okay right so this video video will teach you and guide you about how to answer or how to read pie chart all right so let me start aha uh -huh. okay are you ready are you ready guys okay so Reading and reading pie chart, not eating pie, okay? <laughs> reading pie chart. All right, so do you know how to read pie charts? During your P5, you learn about charts or these pie charts, all right? But anyway, before that, okay, in this lesson, you will learn some vocabularies. Number one, Nana. <laughs> Bang. Ready? Are you ready? There? All right. All right, guys. So, number one, we have everybody, six last one, pie chart. Pie chart. All right. Next, we have data. Data. All right. Thanks. Six last three. We have sector, sector. Okay, so you will learn these words as we go along our lesson, all right? So let us define first, what is a pie chart? Okay, everybody, can you read after me? So a pie chart is a circle that shows a set of data using area or using the area within it all right so as you can see some examples of pie charts below all right so now let's see and learn example number one the table shows the number of students in class 6f who both the school t-shirts of its color all right so you have their color of t-shirt yellow green and blue all right so number of students we have for yellow both yellow 15 green 15 and of course blue 10. so we can represent this data or this table using pie chart so as we all know or we can see that there are two colors represents the same size, okay? Or the same size in the pie chart because they have the same numbers. All right. So very easy, right? Just look at the given number of students. All right, so you have there, the pie chart represents the blue, of course, yellow and green. All right, any questions? No question. Okay. Next. Problem number two. At a bakery, one fourth of the tarts are strawberry. 
tarts. One fourth of them are chocolate tarts. And one half of them are pineapple tarts. So we can represent or we can show the above information in a pie chart using fractions. All right. So in a pie chart, you have there, of course, chocolate tarts. What is the fraction? Okay, one fourth. All right. How about strawberry tarts? Also, one fourth. So one fourth plus one fourth. And of course, the last one is pineapple tarts. How much? That is one half, right? So you have one half plus one half. Plus one half equals to one whole. So in a pie chart, the circle represents a whole. So the total or the sum of all the fractions is one half. All right? So yes, Hector, or H, or every <laughs> sector in the circle represents one data. So the size of the sector depends on the amount of the data. All right. So example number two. Example number two. All right. So let us learn example number two. Are you ready? So at a, at a bakery, one fourth of the tarts are strawberry tarts. And one fourth of them are chocolate tarts. And one half of them are pineapple tarts. So from this information, we can show using pie charts. All right. So first, chocolate tarts. How much? Okay, we have. Okay, next let's proceed to example number two. At the bakery, one fourth of the tarts are strawberry tarts. One fourth of them are chocolate tarts. And one half of them are pineapple tarts. We can show the above information in a pie chart using fractions, right? So as you can see there, chocolate tarts equals to one fourth. All right. Do you like tarts? Which flavor do you like? Next, we have strawberry tarts. How much? Okay, also one fourth. And then the last one is pineapple tarts. How much? One half. All right. So in a pie chart, the circle represents a whole and the sum of all the fractions is one whole, right? You have there one fourth plus one fourth plus one half equals to one. All right. So the sector or each sector in the circle represents one data or the size of the sector depends on the amount of that data. All right, any questions? Okay, no question, let's proceed. Okay, example number three. On Monday, Janice spent 40% of her pocket money on food and drinks, 20% of it on transport, and saved the rest. All right, how about you? How much, how many percent of your pocket money do you save? Mm -hmm. Let me see. Now, we can show the above information in a pie chart using percentages. Okay, using per percentage, we can represent. So, the amount of money spent by Janice on her pocket money. All right. So, transport 20%, food and drinks 40%. And of course, how much do you think? is her savings. 
Very simple, right? So the total percentages of the circle is what? 100. So just simply subtract 100 minus 40% minus 20% equals to 40%. So the percentage that Janice saved for her pocket money is only or 40%. All right. Understand? <laughs> Okay, let's proceed to example number four. The table shows the number of adults, boys and girls, at a concert. It is it is uh, it also shows the fractions and percentages of the audiences for adults, boys and girls. All right. So from the table, you have there adults, boys, girls, and of course the total. So if you are going to total or sum up, that is equals to 160, all right? And fraction, how do you write fraction? For adults, of course, the total is 160. So just simply 60 over 160. Or in simplest form, that is you divide or cut 20, divide by 20, so three over eight, all right? And for boys, 40 over 160, that is equals to one fourth divided by 40, all right? And of course, adults and girls the same. So 60 over 160, three over eight. The total was to one, all right? And then you have there, you can write in percentage. So 60 over 160 equals to 37 over, 37.5 percent and then for boys 25 percent all right so for girls also 37.5 percent total of 100 percent easy so what does the pie chart show so what is pie chart pie chart all about okay it shows about the number of adults boys and girls at a concert all right any questions no questions later all right next problem number five all right so the pie chart shows the amount of money a fast food outlet collected from the sales of each each type of burger each type of burger okay so we have their cheeseburgers Chicken burgers, fish burgers, and beef burgers. Aha. So beef burgers, 750 baht. How about you? What burger do you like? What flavor or what type of burger do you like? Do you like beef? Do you like chicken? Okay, bang. <laughs> Tim, I know you like to eat burgers, right? So question number, question letter A. What, how much, okay, how much money was collected from the sales of cheeseburger? All right, how much money? Okay, can you see, can you guess how much? All right, very good. The answer is, of course, the same with beef burgers, 750 baht. Why? Because as you can see there, the same amount. All right, the same amount there. This one it means 90%, right? 90 degrees, sorry, 90 degrees. So it means beef and cheese, same. All right, now question number two or letter B. What was the total amount of money collected from the sales of all the burgers, of all the burgers? Of course, one fourth equals to 750 baht. So one fourth times or four over four, <laughs> because there are four sectors, right? There are four types. So we have 750 times four equals to 
3,000 baht. Okay? Is it clear? Na? No ni? Yeah, very clear, right? So the total amount of burgers, or sorry, money collected from the sales of all the burgers was 3,000 baht. Easy. Okay. Question number three, or letter C. How much money was collected from the sales of chicken burgers and fish burgers in all? How much? So the whole amount is one, right? So minus one fourth, minus one fourth equals to one half. Okay, one half. So times 750, but times two, how much? 1,500 baht. All right. So 1,500 baht was collected from the sales of chicken and fish burgers. Two types of burgers, chicken and fish. All right. Understand. Next, let's proceed to question number four or letter D. The amount of money collected from the sales of chicken burgers was twice of that collected from fish burgers. How much was collected from the sales of fish burgers? Was twice, right? So 1,500 baht divided by, divided by three. So how much money? Okay, very good. 500 baht was collected from the sales of fish burgers. All right. Understand? Okay. All right. Next, let's learn and do it this one. Okay. I will answer this. First, I will give you this as an example. And later on, you will do your worksheets. All right. So the pie chart shows the number of people in a theater on a weekend. Okay. So you have girls, boys, women, men. So question letter A. How much more men than women were there? Okay. So men and women. How many women? 45. How many men? 60. So 60 minus 45. What's the answer? Yes, you do. <laughs> Equals to? Okay, easy. 15. All right. So I will leave first B and C and the rest of your worksheets. All right. So I hope you can answer your worksheets. All right, physics students. Physics students, I hope you will you can answer your worksheets. And I hope this video will guide you and help you in answering your worksheets. And don't sleep yet. Don't play game because we have so much work or so much worksheets to answer. After that, you can relax and play game. <laughs> All right. So good luck. And thank you very much for watching this video. And see you when I see you. Bye-bye.